Hi, I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First, and today I'm so excited to speak with Mr. John Mousier, who plays Don in the silent black and white comedy, What? John graduated from California School for the Deaf, Riverside, and he attended Galladay. John broke through Hollywood stereotypes, and he became the first deaf actor in ABC's talent development program. From there, John appeared on several TV series like Law and Order, Brand New Life, Southland, and 10-8. He's also been honored by the city of Los Angeles. Mr. Alec Lev, the director of What, will be Mr. Mousier's interpreter. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Mr. Mousier. It's great to have you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting me. So let's get started with why did you choose to act in this film? Well, you, you did mention that, that the, the first step act in that ABC talent program and the journey sort of began there. It was great to be, uh, to, to start off that way, but honestly, it's been a struggle ever since. You know, it's very hard to work with people in the Hollywood industry. And we decided to make a film ourselves to kind of wake them up and show them what I've been through. Um, so we wanted to cast authentic actors, not someone just playing a deaf person, a hearing person playing a deaf person or anything like that. So that, that's really why I did what? I love that. And uh, was this your first silent comedy film? Yeah, yeah. My first one with this amazing director, Alec <laughs> Lev, who is, uh, you know, he knows a lot about black and white silent films. He even he even named his son Chaplin, um, so I think that says enough. Um, so it's amazing to work with him, and no, I'd never been involved in anything like that until you know we created this role. Um, Alec asked me to watch a whole bu bunch of uh, silent films from uh, Buster Keaton, from Charlie Chaplin, and it, uh, incredible, you know, just incredible stuff. I was able to just see these old these silent actors doing with no words, you know, just the size spatial expression with their actions. And I thought, this is a great thing for deaf people, for deaf actors. Um, and so it was great to have someone who's familiar with black and white silent films directing this. Um, and Alec was the right person to do it. And how was your experience working on this different from your other projects? It's a good question. Um, what had so many experiences that were actually straight from my real life. Um, but as far as television shows goes and other work like that, I mean, I've always been the only deaf person there. You know, may, maybe there's two of us, that's it. So I'm, I'm deaf, maybe one other person in a sea of hearing people. And that's fine, it's fine, it's great. Um, but you know, it's lonely. Um, I use an interpreter, my interpreter winds up being, you know, my best friend on set, whether we're filming for a week or however long it is, we're, we're, we're there all the time. Compare that now to what? Completely the opposite. Everyone, everyone was deaf, deaf people everywhere. And it felt like, you know, you have full access to, to everything. And we had an amazing time. Now we did have interpreters. They provided access for the hearing people. So for years, we have interpreters there providing access for deaf people. Here on our set, it was for the hearing folks. But we made sure everyone, all the crew who, who were hearing, we made sure that they really felt comfortable. I didn't want them to go through what I went through as the lone deaf people I think, person. I think everyone had a great time. And by rap, everyone was just saying you know, how much they felt like a family. And, and that's the goal, right? That's the goal in the entertainment industry. When, when you work together, you want to have that sort of connection with each other. Wonderful. And what challenged you the most about playing the role of Don? As Don, I guess I needed to make sure that he, he to just not get too emotional myself. I mean, these are things that I've actually been through and it is an emotional thing to recreate those, but I'm Don, right? I'm not John remembering my, my life. And so Don was in a different place and I had to, I had to maintain that. And that's why you have a director. Alec was there to help me get through that story. 
as far as the parts of Don's journey that you felt you could relate to, how do you think that enhanced your acting? It definitely enhanced my acting. Um, it helped me to, I mean, I, I was really taking a, 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 a pretty deep look back at what I had gone through. Um, and I could see it now, really, now that I'm watching the movie, I can, I can see it maybe more than I noticed then. I could see John in Don uh, in several places. I could see where I was you know, just following the direction, making sure that I was, I, I was, I, I was done and not John at other points. I mean, remember also as, as a silent film, um, you're looking for it to be a little more physically expressive. That's what the, the calls for. Hollywood films, not so much, right? You don't see a lot of facial expressions on a lot of hearing actors' faces because they're putting all of it into the voice, right? And I'm used to that style of acting, it's a style. In a silent film, oh, it's completely the opposite. You are being asked to express yourself physically, facially, everywhere, because again, because of the genre. That was, that was new and a great experience. Great. And what was the most fun part of the experience for you? What had, oh my goodness, so many things. The most fun. I mean, signing, being on set there. You know, when the, when the, when the film was over, um, it wasn't as fun at all, <laughs> you know? It was great to be in that world for 15 days of production. Um, everyone laughing together, being emotional together, all understanding each other. Um, and then there you are on the last day and realizing it's done, what's up? Absolutely, yeah. And 15 days, you said, that's a pretty short window for production. How did that limit you as an actor? It was 15 days. It does go fast. Um, but the key, again, is, you know, our, our director, Alec, had a schedule, right? We, we knew everything we were going to be doing day to day. Um, there was nothing that was like, okay, let's figure out what we're going to do. You know, we knew we were, what we were going to be shooting from the last day to the first, from the first day to the last, excuse me. Um, so we had a little bit of rehearsal time beforehand. We could prepare for each scene, each day before it happened. And when it came time to shoot, it was smooth. You know, um, we we got it all. You know, we, we got every scene. We didn't have to like take something out because we ran out of time. It's great. And what did you learn from working on what? How did you develop as an actor? I learned going through this production, you know, after it was done and you know you now got to wait how long before it comes out a long time you know there are certain things that i i learned that i want to do it more <laughs> i learned that there's a lot of uh homework that needs to be done long before you get on set um you know, I've, I've been a lot of tv shows you get the role and it's like, boom, you're shooting in a couple of days. There's no time to even think about it. It's, that has its own challenges. So for what, this was different. We had time, we got to rehearse, we got to prepare for the next movie, my third, um, you know, cause I, I did a film called No Ordinary Hero, the super deafy movie. That's how, it, that's how it started. That was the first and oh look, here it is right here. <laughs> um, from then, just did what? And for our third, we're gonna bring everything that we learned from what to that production, um, to really be prepared long in advance, um, to work with the director as much as possible. That's, that's really the key. I love that. And I think really acting as a journey, it's, a, it's you know, growth over time. Really looking at that film on the, on the screen at the Chinese theater and seeing myself up there. That's a challenge, just looking at myself. You know, I love acting. I love working in front of the camera, but to see myself up there, that's tough. That was a tough one. I'll be honest with you. I had to, I had to kind of look away a little bit as a challenge. But again, you know, you got to trust the director. Alec was saying, you're doing well. You just got to trust that you're doing well. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today, Mr. Mosier. It's been a pleasure. 
What is currently on the film festival circuit and has already been accepted to 12 film festivals around the world? And the film will be released in 2022. I'm Ishan. And, Martin, and is- wait, uh, uh, I, I'm not going to let you go. So 21 film festivals is actually Ooh, our number right wow. now. <laughs> Yay. And, bef- and if I could throw this in before we go. Um, well, I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or review or those of my amazing Kids First teammates. Bye.